through line the last three years has really been the spirit of coming together. First was Sumaya's Valley's Pavilion, which through her research into diasporic communities and where they found a foothold in London and the way that she abstracted that research to really bring London into Kensington Gardens. And the Astor, whose uh, pavilion was such a kind of incredible meditative space, and now Lena, who's really hearkened to the history of the Serpentine as a tea house, she was very inspired by historical pictures, seeing tables all over the lawns, and they've each approached the spirit of coming together in very different ways. And as you said, Lena's is so in sync with the site. It feels like it emerges from the site, not only through this kind of direct relationship with the design and nature and the form of leaves, but also the way that it relates to the tea house. So we're so thrilled and you know people are already using the table and we can really imagine that there will be so many incredible encounters and meaningful interactions here. It's interesting. Each, as you said, each pavilion is, a, is the venue for our live programs, but it, it's also a place that's just an open invitation for people to wander into the park. And they certainly get a kind of impression when they see it. Lena talks about how this makes her kind of think about the carousels of her childhood, the idea of sharing meals around a table with her family. And I think that energy is, is really emanating from it. So we expect that it's gonna be a kind of friendly invitation to enter into it, spend time here, and also enjoy the menu that she's collaborated with Benuga on. So we want every visitor to be able to have that experience that she's envisioned. Absolutely, we look at the feedback every day and also just anecdotally, you can tell by the way that people use it. The Astros Pavilion last year, there were many people who would come and sit by themselves and it was such a successful space for meditation but also for his you know, incredible programming that he did around the Black Artist Retreat and bringing the Black Monks to the Serpentine. So I think they all kind of serve that function and we not only observe how visitors are interacting with it, but we follow the visitor comments very closely. You know, something that we've noticed a lot and we're thinking a lot about, and, and Lena mentioned, is play. Mm -hmm. The pavilion is a place where a lot of kids come. You know, she's imagining kids running around the outside of the pavilion. Sumaya's pavilion, there was a lot of jumping. Uh, we certainly want it to be a kind of engaging space where visitors from all walks of life and all ages can, can find something, whether it's a detail that they follow or coming around the table and sharing a meal. Um, but we're, we're very conscious also of comments into our exhibitions. You know, the Serpentine prides itself on being an artist-led institution, but we're also increasingly audience-centric, so there's this consistent feedback loop with visitors in our team.